Hey everyone, welcome back to Make a Model Monday. I'm James, I'm the host here, and today we have an awesome practical print to look at. When I found this print, I was just waiting for the right time to do it, and this has ended up being the longest print I've done so far on my new CR10 at about 26, 27 hours. This is a fully 3D printed clamp system that we can print off, which I'm going to be able to use for some of the soldering I have coming up on some mini circuits like the Arduino Nano. So, as you can see, there's quite a few parts to it, and the entire thing's held together using these plastic clips. So it's pretty ingenious design, and it should be pretty simple to put together, and if you want to print your own, I've tossed it in the link below, or I've tossed the link in the description below, rather, and uh, you'll be able to print it and hopefully follow along with what I'm going to do here. Now, I probably should have read the uh, assembly instructions, but I've got a pretty good idea as to how it works, so we'll give it our best shot. So... The way the system works is we have two printed gears, and the two printed gears go on to threaded rods that are attached to one side of the clamping system. So when these spin on these rods and they're held into place, it's going to cause the threaded rods to pull forward or backwards, which will allow this to slide in and out. And on the bottom here we have some grooved rails, and uh, sorry, some clasps that are going to go on some grooved rails that are going to slide up and down like this. So we have the two outsides of the clamp, we have the actual knob that's going to create the motion system, we've got a couple of pieces that flatten out the end and this is what's going to give it the grip. It's got some lines cut into it so um, circuit boards and stuff can actually sit in and get clamped in there really really well. And then we have an abundance of uh, the little clips that we're going to put together. So let's get started on the assembly. Um, I'm going to start off by taking one of these pieces and you're going to want to make sure that when you put it together, your track on the inside of the clamp fits into the bottom of the clamping piece. And essentially, with these threaded on, but not all the way through, you want them to be more or less flush, you're going to position this here, and just like that. There's our first one installed. And take a good look at how that sits in there, no problem. Then... We're going to need our knob. The knob's going to fit in between the two of those. And you won't want to spin this yet because there's not going to be enough pressure on it to keep it in position. But just sitting in like that. This is going to be the part that requires a little bit of finesse, I think. You can see that on one side there are holes cut out. And on the other side there are little knobs that stick out that are going to make sure that this fits together properly. So we'll go ahead and line those up. One side should be absolutely no problem. The other one's going to require a little bit more finesse, but probably not too, too much. Snapping that together like that. There we go. Um, at this point, I think it's best to start clipping. So you'll see that the clips will only actually fit in sort of one way, depending on which direction you go from. And you should be able to basically just line them up and give a little push. And that's all there is to it. It goes right through to the other side. So everywhere we've got an opening, we're just going to put another clamp in. Always make sure that you line up. You'll see that there's basically a notch on the edge of that, right up here, or rather right there. And it'll only fit in one way, so make sure it's lined up properly. And it should just require a little bit of pressure, and it'll go right through. Well, with your clasps in place, uh, to get them started, I would recommend sort of pinching in on here and just start spinning until the threaded rods start to pass through the connection on the back through here. That'll make sure that they stay lined up and in position and you don't accidentally basically get them off-centered. There we go. You can see that as we spin, it moves it out. And then just a couple of extra pieces to put on here. So we have this piece here that gives you your grip on the one side. And it just is set up to slot right into here, like that. And then with a little more space to work with, we have the other piece that is essentially just going to clip over the end of it. So you'll hook one end on, making sure that there's a little notch cut here. So you want to make sure that that notch lines up with the notch on here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a notch just on the outer edge of here. So you'll just essentially hook it over one side. And then with a little bit of pressure, there we go. Snaps right into place, just like that. 
And there we have a fully 3D printed, fully assembled clamp that we can use to work on stuff like circuit boards or really anything when you need stuff to hold steady. Um, I've worked with some helping hands that they work pretty well for stuff like wires, but when it comes to circuit boards, when there's, you know, components and stuff mounted around the outer edge, there's not always a good way to grasp them with those little hands. So with this, it doesn't require a lot of surface area to clamp something. Here I've got my collector's case pin, so we should be able to... This off. Clamp it in. And that isn't going anywhere. Of course, until we want it to. So there we have, fully 3D printed clamp. Works really, really well. I didn't do any cleanup on this off the print bed. It was just ready to go. Um, and as you can see, all the pieces went together pretty well. Uh, it was the kind of build where I had to do it on camera because once the clips are in, there's no pulling it apart and that's kind of the point. So if you want to print your own, it's in the description below. If you do, toss a picture up and let me know how it works for you. If you've got something you'd like to see me print in a future Make a Model Monday, then toss it in the comments below. If you like this video, Thumbs up would be great. If you didn't, then the other button's there too, and it works okay. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe and click the bell so you're notified when I put out new content. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'm James, and stay creative.